Hey, Brian from Workspace Admins here. Today we'll show you how to use uh, Python scripts with GAM. So this could be helpful when you are looking for permissions in my drive or share drive, especially around file oversharing. So we will look for items in our Workspace Admins public share drive. If you'd like to join the share drive, uh, we'll include the link in our video description. So we'll just go back to the GitHub page here. So we are going to look for files that have been shared with anyone in the share drive. So we'll just search for anyone here. So since this is in team drive or share drive, we'll use the second script here. So what's important to note is that even though this is a Python script, the, there are a number of steps that we that need to be followed. So the, all the steps are described in the comments here. So we'll just uh, go through step by step. So first step is to get the list of all team drives, which I already have done, but I'll just do it again. So I'll just run this inside a folder called GAM work. So that'll create a new CSV file with all the shared drives. So we'll just take a look at this shared drive here. So the ones I'm only really interested in are today is the one on line four. So I'll just go ahead and delete lines two and three. Now I'll save it. So now I'm going to get all the ACLs. So access control list, which will create another CSV file based on that shared drive. And you see, uh, I have a new CSV file that shows me the permissions of the shared drive, which shows you all the groups that have access to the shared drive. Going down to step three, now I need to get a different uh, Python file for this task. So I'm just going to duplicate this tab, go back. And the name of the file was get team drive organizers.py, at team drive organizers.py. So I'll just make a copy of this and go back to Cloud Shell, create a new file. at team drive organizers.py. I have the file here. So this one also has a few different steps. So step one and two, uh, we have done it somewhat. So I'll just um, customize this script. So group organizers, I'll do false. One organizer is true. User organizers should be false. Let's see. One organizer true, group organizers false, user organizers true. So let's see here. Group false, user true. One organizer is true. And I'll hit save. So I'll just run this uh, five of the script here. So I already have a file called team drive ACLs CSV and team drive CSV. So now I'm going to create another CSV file using this Python script called team drive organizers or team drive organizers CSV. So that should have created the new file team drive organizers CSV. And that didn't seem to have worked. Uh, it's missing an organizer's organizer column. So I'll just go and take a look at what's happened. And that is because there is no user organizers, organizer there. But because I am in the groups, I'll just add myself here to the CSV. So if I look at manage members here, we have five groups. So that's why um, <clears throat> it's the Python script is not listing the organizer organizer based on the variables that we provided. So now let's go back to the actual script here. So we completed step four. So we need to run get team drive organizers or get team drive org organizes 
we need to run get team drive organizers py which will use the team drive acls and team drives and team drive organizers so we'll run copy this here we already have the python script um, saved here so these are allowed file discovery we'll just set it to any so this will create another csv file that is not what I meant to run. So I'll need to update the CSV file here, add myself again. And I'll go to Python script here or and go to Okay, so let's see here. So this one I did, so, okay. So we need to run this uh, step five actually. Yeah, I'm redirect CS3, fileless perms.csv, multiprocess CSV, team drive organizers. So we are using my email address to print the file list inside the team drive or shared drive. So the query part here, there's a put query here. So I am going to use the desired allow file discovery. I'll use this query. And wait for it to finish running. So that finished running here. So now I have a file called file list perms.csv. So this will show me all the files that have been shared with anyone. So it looks like there's about 49 files for us to take a look at. Now let's go back to team drive or get shared with anyone team drives.py. So we finished step five. Now step six says to go to step 11. So we'll go to step 11. From the list of ACLs, I'll put a CSV file with headers owner, drive file ID, drive file title, permission ID, role, allow file discovery. So this is an actual script that will be running, which is the get shared with anyone team drive ACLs.py. So I'll copy this. So this will basically clean up the CSV file that we just create, created. But as you can see, it's basically the same file, but the permissions are cleaned up. So now we should see the permissions. Uh, that's a bit cleaner to see. So you can see we have anyone with link. Uh, some are commenters, some are writers, some are readers. So reader means view, commenter is comment, writer means editor. So ideally we like to clean this up following the final last step, which is to delete the permission, but we won't uh, do that just yet. We have a few other steps for us to complete um, to uh, clean up some of the permissions. So that was it for the sharing a GAM script to, or Python script with GAM to um, look at permissions in the shared drive. So if you like this video, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave us comments. Thanks.